How's it going guys, Chaos Prime here and welcome back to another Anthem video. So today I wanted to talk about Endgame in Anthem. We don't know much about it other than what's been already revealed. We do know that there are strongholds for the Endgame, we know that there will be contracts and though they don't want to call it raids, there is something else coming after launch. So with that said, if you find this useful, a like rating would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe and share as this channel is going to continue growing with your support. So at launch, strongholds will be the main focus of the endgame. These are specific dungeons littered around the play world that you will pretty much be visiting to try and get that elusive loot to make your javelin even stronger. Each stronghold will vary and the difficulty of them will vary based on their composition. So this in itself is pretty much self-explained. You do have six difficulty settings with the first three difficulties being easy, normal and hard and the final three after you complete the main campaign being Grandmaster 1, 2 and 3. These difficulties will be what dictates what loot drops from the strongholds. Now there is no stronghold specific loot as I've explained in a previous video, Anthem has opted to go the opposite route by having a global loot pool. The global loot pool means every item can drop from any place you want, much like Diablo. Which isn't a bad thing, I can understand that, but personally me speaking I would have preferred to have specific strongholds, but as I've said in a previous video, this isn't a bad thing and it just means that you have much more variety in doing what you want to do. You don't have to constantly go after the same stronghold for that specific item, you can go elsewhere. It's not the stronghold itself that's dictating what you get, it's the difficulty that you're doing it in. This also applies to open world, if you set it to Grandmaster 3, the enemies in the open world will be godly difficult, but you will have a higher chance of dropping the stuff. That being said... Expect a higher drop rate in strongholds than you would in the open world. So strongholds will pretty much be the end game. There will be no raids or raid like content at launch and despite people already moaning that EA and Bioware are withholding content and releasing a game that's incomplete, I find this highly unfair. To be fair, games like Destiny, games like The Division, games like MMOs like Final Fantasy XIV do not release the raid within the first few weeks of the game coming out or the content coming out or the expansion coming out. They usually give you a two, three week grace period of actually doing the content, enjoying the content, leveling up, doing what you need to do before they give you the pinnacle content, which is raids. So I find this perfectly fine. And those people that are witch hunting and for my present saying that they're holding back content and not releasing it, I find this highly unfair and unjustified because all the big hitters out there do exactly the same thing. This is a standard norm. It doesn't mean that they had to follow it. No, but then there's no reason for them to release a raid day one. There's absolutely none. No one's going to complete the raid day one. Give people time to enjoy the game. Let them not rush it release raid like content after. This is perfectly acceptable. So with strongholds out the way, we also have what's called contracts and we don't know much about contracts other than the fact that we know that we'll be getting them at some point in during the game and these will be either weekly or daily and they will basically be challenges that you need to do in order to complete and get loot. We don't know much about them, like I said, we just know that contracts will be there, they will probably be the ones that issue blueprints, so it's definitely going to be worth doing, they will most likely reward currency as well, so these will be tied in with the strongholds and hopefully make you play in a different way in order to complete the contracts in question. As you're aware, your pilot is the one that levels up and not your javelin. So it could be that a contract requires you to go in, in the Interceptor or the Colossus and perform certain actions in order to complete the set contract or even just complete a stronghold with a set javelin. These type of things are cool and they will add to the variety of the game. But you're all here to hear about raids and Bioware have clearly said that they are not calling them raids. In fact, they are calling them aspirations, something to go for and something to look forward to, something to grind for. And hopefully we will get more about this in due course. They have said absolutely nothing about raids. They have said absolutely nothing about aspirations other than what I've just said there. It is just gonna be content for you to go for and that's it. I mean, that's all we know for the endgame and anthem. And to be fair, at launch, 
this is pretty much okay with me. You'll have the main story campaign, which will take a good amount of time to complete. Once you've done that, you'll have the whole leveling up process through the Tarsuses, the strongholds and everything else that's coming with Anthem. And then you have the whole difficulty scaling that you're working towards in order to make sure your javelin is equipped and ready for the ultra end game content that will be coming. On top of this, you also have contracts. This is Bioware's first attempt at something like this. So already I can see that there is enough here at launch to keep you going. And let's not forget, all content that comes after this will be free. So with that said, strongholds, multiple difficulties in order to dictate what loot has a higher chance of dropping, which is common practice in this day and age, contracts, which we know very little about, and what we have to look forward to post-launch, aspirations, which is basically like raid type stuff, but they're not calling it raid, so I assume it's gonna be slightly different. But we have aspirations to look forward to that will make us actually grind and go for said things. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It is a short one, but I thought I would talk about the end game a little because some people were asking about the end game. And though we don't really have a full grasp of what it will be, we've seen a few videos now, a few live streams of them doing multiple different strongholds. It will be the content that you're going back to again and again in order to try and up the chances of you getting the said loot with the higher difficulties. Contracts, again, we don't know much about, but will be integral to the end game plans of Anthem when the game launches. And finally, when it comes to raids, they don't want to call it raids, so there must be a valid reason why they don't want to do this, unless it's much like the end game where they call it Elder Game, then I have no idea. But aspirations, which essentially means things to go for, and if I look at stuff in other games like Destiny, where my aspiration for the Last Wish raid was to complete it and get the 1000 voices, my aspiration for Scourge of the Past was to complete it and get the Anarchy, those are reasons for me to go back to that content and keep playing it until I get the said drop. With that said, I hope this will be something similar. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and above all else, remain legend.